All right, so analyst with remarkable track record says Bitcoin facing one last test ahead of rise to 120,000. Now this, again, I'm not a big fan of the whole Bitcoin's going to this and Bitcoin's going to that because we never know. It could go, I'm not going to go say it goes to zero. That's just so dumb. It's not going to go to zero. I mean, it's not going to happen. But we don't know if it's going to go 100,000 or 800,000 or, you know, 10,000 or whatever. We just don't know. But I like this information about what Dave the Wave talks about for one reason. I'll get that right now. So real quick, in a new tweet, the analyst known as Dave the Wave said it's within the realm of possibility for Bitcoin to continue consolidating for the rest of the year. You can't see me, but I have my hands in prayer pose. I hope, I pray that Bitcoin keeps consolidating for this sweet, sweet ride when we can all just keep being investors and dollar cost average in and just pick up Bitcoin on the cheap. Because I truly believe it's not going to be 10,000 forever. It's going to go up. And I see it going anywhere between 100 and 250,000. That's just my prediction. Again, I don't like to make them because they kind of seem a little bit ridiculous right now. But look what happened in like 2012, 2013. People, I mean, it was like, you know, 300 bucks. People are like, oh, you know, Bitcoin could at some point reach $1,000. And now we look at 1000 we're like, can you imagine if Bitcoin's $1,000? What a piece of junk. So you got to dream. Anyhow, so Dave, to make this quick, he draws a nice little uh, algorithm line or lines of support and where it's going to bounce off. I'm not a TA person, so I'm not even going to get into it. I'm not even going to pretend that I know what he's talking about. But basically, it's all trend lined and levels of support. And I can see that. I mean, just going across here where he draws the lines. It's all about where you draw the lines, right? So fantastic. But it states here, Bitcoin may continue hovering above the former resistance of the triangle to end of the 2017 Bitcoin bull run and kept the market bearish for over two years. And believe me, those sucked. But this is the interesting stuff. Dave's chart also shows that the previous resistance and the logarithmic growth curve will touch base on December 31st, 2020. According to Dave, the meaning of the two support lines can ignite a bull market that catapults Bitcoin 120,000. Do I believe that? I don't know, but I can tell you this. I am happy, I am ecstatic that we can continue on with this 10,000 just nothingness for as long as we want to. Wow, maybe two or three months and just accumulate. I'm all about that. That's fine because I know that Bitcoin will only increase. I had a discussion with uh, Alex Maschioli about this. He's the uh, head of uh, Bequant Institutional Services and he gets like big players in the game. And I just asked him, I go, Alex, what are these people talking about when they talk about cryptocurrency? What are they investing in? Because Grayscale has their, their Litecoin fund, their Ethereum fund, their XRP fund. He goes, you know what they're talking about? Bitcoin, and that's it. So these big, massive players, these are the ones that are getting in, and that, I think, is what will drive the price up. Could be wrong, but who knows? But as far as like the actual price action, what's going to happen in the future, I mean, you can draw these all day long. I'm not a TA guy. I just I, I just don't uh, get into all those trends. I can take a look at price action and see what happened. And this is what I always talk about between the first halving, second, and third. Again, uh, past performance is not indicative of future happenings, however they say it. But if you look, take a look at the first halving on November 28, 2012, that was the date of the first halving. And then in a year's time, it reached an all-time high of 994 bucks or let's just say a thousand right so the price on november 28 2012 was 12 bucks and then in one year it went up a thousand that is an eight thousand percent increase so we go from the first having the second which we all remember that well some of us do uh the, the second halving happened on july 9th 2016 and the price at that time was 650 bucks pretty good then in a year and a half on december 16th 2017 it went to almost 20,000. so between oops so between the first having and the second having, eh, by about a third. So 3,000% was the gain. So we went from 8,000 to about 3,000. We'll round it down. We'll say about a third, right? Now, the third having happened in May. Well, actually, was this was I actually did this in December. So I thought it was around May 16th. It was like May 11th, May 12th, somewhere around there. And I always thought it would be around 10,000. And it was around 10 grand. So I just looked at this. I'm like, well, for the first to the second, it went from a year to a year and a half. So maybe it'll be two years till when we have the next all-time high for Bitcoin. So if we take a look at that, then maybe in 2022, which we're roughly looking at about another year and eight months or somewhere around there, we can go from 10,000 to 100,000 because we went from 8,000 by about a third, 3,000 by about another third, 1,000%, 100 grand. That's a very conservative number. Who knows if I'm right or wrong? That's just how I see it. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our last article.